Hello, sports fans and football fans and XFL fans. Guess what? The XFL season has finally come to an end. And my defenders are in the playoffs. And they will be hosting next week. They will be hosting the Seattle Sea Dragons, who just barely beat out the St. Louis Battlehawks, probably because of... Because I think they both had the same record, but um, which was uh, like seven and seven and three, I think. Um, and they're going up against my nine and one defenders, but um, they were both seven and three. And I think that you know they had to go down some elimination uh, criteria to finally arrive at the fact that Seattle was the team that would be playing the defenders for the XFL North Championship, which will be next. Sunday, 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 and um, next Saturday, the XFL South Championship will be decided by the Arlington, what are those guys, the Arlington Rough Riders, what are they? <laughs> They're going against the Houston Roughnecks, the Arlington um, Renegades, that's what they are. The Arlington Renegades are going to be taking on the Houston Roughnecks in Houston for the XFL South Championship. And the winner of those two games is going to be uh, meeting in the XFL Championship game. So uh, I'm going to give you my picks for the, uh, the winners. You think you know, but you don't. No, and you never will. This weekend, and who I think the XFL championship is going to be. But first, I want to recap last week, because guess what? Last week, I was 4-0. And you know what that makes me on the year? Well, that actually makes me 31-9. Uh, and nine. I was 31-9 and nine this year. 31 games right, just 9 wrong. So that's a pretty impressive record. I... I, you know, I mean, I think so, but anyway, so yeah, um, you can back down. I'm not even going to recount the games because it doesn't really matter at this point. The season's over and all you need to know is that there are two division championship games being played between the, uh, the DC defenders. You like that? You like that? My team. And the, uh, and the Seattle Sea Dragons. And then on the other side, the Houston Roughnecks um, against the uh, Arlington Renegades. So the winner of those of that game, like I said, meets in the XFL Championship. I think the winners are going to be easily the Roughnecks. Easily the Roughnecks because the, uh, the uh, Arlington Renegades actually made it to this game, to this championship game with a losing record. I think they were four and six. So they're going to be, uh, you know, eliminated. But the Seattle DC game is going to be a close game. I think that's going to be a hard fought battle. I kind of feel slighted because my team has to go up against a good team for the championship. Well, you know, if you're a Houston Roughneck fan, you're thinking, yeah, we're in, we're a shoe in. So anyway, um, yeah, that's going to be a good game. But uh, I think that uh, I got to go with D.C. I got to pick D.C., my D.C. defenders. We beat Seattle this year twice. Now, beating them a third time is going to be extremely difficult. But I think they can do it. I think they're up to the task. And then that would make your XFL championship game be D.C. against the Roughnecks. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. I would love to see the Renegades win in the uh, South Championship because if DC does beat Seattle and they go to the championship game and they're playing the Renegades, huh, yeah, that's a win. That's a slam dunk win. But if they're playing the Roughnecks, I don't think that's a slam dunk. The Roughnecks are a good team. But I'm going to pick in a potential matchup of DC against Houston, I would, I would go with DC. 
So, um, and if that changes, if it's different, I'm not going to come back. This is my last XFL video of the year until next year. But if that changes, you're not going to get what my pick is. You're only going to know what my pick is if it ends up being DC against the Roughnecks, as I believe it will be. So that's what I got. What did you guys think of the season? Like I said, there was a lot of close games all year long. Left you on the edge of the seat. In fact, the uh, DC Defenders had that in this past week. They won by a point. I think they won like 29-28. So, um, you know, it's, it's a very competitive league. You can say that the talent's worse, and yes, it is, and it would be. But the games were, a lot of the games were very, very close, very, very competitive. Left you on the edge of your seats. I love the season. I can't wait till next season. I hope they add some teams. I don't think that's true. I think you have some very definite ideas about them, and I'd like to know what they are. But, uh, you know, if they stay at four... Hopefully they won't do that longer than one more season. But anyway, what did you guys think? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. It really helps me out. And, uh, you know, I guess until next time, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.